Hi, um, been playing with the Logic Green 328P um, at Mega clone chips. Um, I bought several of them um, a couple of years ago now, I guess. And I've used them here and there, but um, one of the reasons I wanted them is they have DAC built in. Um, they have other features that are, are different than the regular at Mega chips that they are like, um, like they clock in at um, 32 megahertz max with the internal oscillator. Um, they have 16 bit A to D and also they have a DAC channel. And I think there's a couple other options too for debug. But anyway, um, here's the DAC um, and I'll have the program listed out there for, for download. Um, and I have generating a uh, ramp wave, a sine wave, a smaller ramp wave, and a squarish wave. Uh, so a little semi-complex signal. So we'll take a closer look here. Um, it's a fairly um, slow signal. It's only running at um, about 1.6, 1.7 megahertz, or excuse me, kilohertz. Um, but it does um, require a fair amount of um, hold off there. You know, what I can do here, let's see, get a good look at the signal here. And it kind of looks like a, one of the games you had, the side scrolling games in the early 80s. But um, just play around, whoops. And here it is on my analog scope. So, but it's a fun little, fun little piece of code to play with. It looks like it's promising. Here's a signal counter. It's kind of drifting here. Um, I think this signal is kind of confusing it because it is kind of changing pretty a lot. Um, if you go in there and look at each one of those parts they're you know different sizes and they're drawn at um or excuse me drawn um generated at different speeds so um so which requires you know the whole off here i'll show you here we'll do an auto set and there we go isn't it pretty and get our trigger in there Drop the voltage look, down a little. Get a trigger and that's about all you're gonna be able to trigger. It's not gonna trigger all that much. So you've gotta go add hold off. So and the hold off add on this scope is really, really slow. It's fine. And it takes uh about um one point four milliseconds to to get it stable um we're getting closer well we passed it okay that's one of the things i've noticed about this there we go we can drop it down to about 1.4 i believe there we go and there it is so and now on this guy um, the hold off is a little easier, it's an analog scope, and, um, and one of the things you saw over here on the other scope is you had the, the view, um, and we can do the same thing here with the, and this is the wave here, that's the sine wave, and we can scroll through that, if I can find the scroll button, there we go, and scroll through that, and Look at the wave as it goes. Here's the square. Oh, get back to the. There's the square beginning and end. And then the big triangle or ramp, and then the sine wave again. So. And you can do the same thing over here. With your horizontal menu. 
get out of there. There we go. You do the same thing there. You can scroll through it as well. They get bigger and smaller. But almost if you know that. But anyway, I've, thanks a lot.